Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is Saving Your Disaster Campaign. Uh, I would call it the Meat Grinder Campaign. Uh, 104 soldiers died before I took over this campaign. We're in the late game uh, and the last mission uh, was essentially saving the entire campaign from impeding doom uh, by doing uh, the Golden Path mission of uh, the Gatekeeper. Uh, we secured the Psionic Gateway and got a few promotions and luckily the game uh, this time uh, decides to throw us a landed UFO. One of the most uh, difficult missions but also one of the most rewarding missions. So exactly what we need right now. Uh, which is, uh, which means we're flying over and uh, let's take our soldiers into the battle. Uh, you can see from the color coding that uh, we were able to field... Oh, well, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, we're even able to field another squatty here. Okay, I gotta uh, fix that real quick. All right, we got everything fixed. Perfect. So, uh, we had one of our recently promoted uh, specialists who just ba came back up to join this mission. So we're going in with a nice little team, one of uh, each class plus an additional specialist and a rookie to fill in. So we got our three mimic beacons. I took the liberty to build a mine shield. Uh, so just in case we're uh, fighting against the Chosen. And we got um, one probably taking a second um, med kit. Just one sec. All right, much better. So we got the full team assembled. We got two med kits, three mimic beacons, got the mind shield that I was talking about. I also um, purchased a battle scanner uh, because if we're fighting against the assassin, that's going to be crucial to um, pick her out as soon as possible. This is indeed going to be a very difficult mission, but I am not afraid about uh, uh, going in uh, no longer with rookies, but with squaddies. So that means we got many, many more abilities to work with. So let's see what I can do. And here we go, just landed. Menace 1-5, UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area, neutralize all hostiles. Very good. So, that's six soldiers. With landed UFO missions, just to remind ourselves, uh, we are not on a timer as long as we're not triggering anyone. The moment that we trigger someone, uh, it's going to be a whole new ball game because all of a sudden we're going to be on a timer. Sniper. Takes a position behind full cover over here with really nice angles. We're going to use our Got it. Moving. specialists as midfield units. Confirmed. So taking the flanks at the moment. They will eventually go further to the front line and we're using everyone else as a front line unit. A little bit of overwatch, and there's the first pack. We want to be careful with, oh, look at that, an Andromedon and uh, Sectored Commander, I think. Uh, we want to be careful with not engaging too early, specifically since our sniper doesn't have any good line of sight. Um, Let's reposition a sniper here. Pretty sure that most of the enemies are here. We're going to get closer to the entrance because the timer will start as soon as we're entering the Roger UFO. That. Specialist as midfield unit. Second specialist a little bit further to the back. And we're moving everyone else further in. It's 
two normal mutants, not even a mutant centurion. So we should be fine. It's a second pack. Got a group of hostiles over here. I could see ourselves taking on two packs. Need to make sure that it's not three. So just hypothetically speaking, if we were to use a plasma grenade, yeah, we're going to use that um, in order to get rid of their cover. Yeah, we don't. I I really want to kill uh, the codex, so we're not going to engage yet. Very soon, that's going to change. Putting our specialists, like I said, in a midfield-ish position, so withdrawing with them just a tiny I'm bit. Aggressively moving up here, I hope that we're going to be spotted out so that our Overwatch trap closing on target position now. Would spring. They are definitely moving into the right direction. Let's hope the third pack doesn't also join. Okay, that looks quite promising. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't change a thing. We're just going to overwatch because uh, they are very likely to move right into us. There we go. And that means we get free shots without any form of retaliation. Alright, both of the mutants are down. It's a relief. And all of a sudden, we just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. All of a sudden, uh, we are in a bit of a time problem. Shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. In order to mitigate that time problem, uh, we are going to go in further, closer. This here is uh, gonna be our. Cover removal. Very nice. Both of them are going to be dead very soon. Um, in terms of blue screen rounds, I think only the sniper had them. Really like to get the codex. Let's think that through. So for, uh, first priority are definitely going to be uh, these uh, two, Sunlance first, and then the captain. Given that we can't move our sniper, might as well take the best shot that we can get. Nice. We theoretically would have a Mimic Beacon over here, which I don't think we will need, but just in case. Um, gonna move up here. Earned her promotion, certainly. Hitting out. 
Let's deal with the Codex. There's a pretty solid chance uh, that we're going to crit it. And the crit means it's dead. Don't want to go uh, to here, although it is a flanking position because we know that there had been um, pack over there. However, thanks to our battle scanners, we don't need to think. Can know whether or not there is someone there. I'll keep one more just in case if the chosen shows up. Let's see, there is a flanking position. Nice one. Almost killed it. Um, so I do have the uh, choice to maybe 8 protocol up or just take a shot. So I think we're going to take a shot here. There we go. Killed two packs right away. Didn't even use a lot of our consumables. So that's six down, six more to go. Moving. Moving into a really good position over here. Still got four more turns, so we should be fine. That's affirmative. Go, go, go! Going to use Axel here to hack. That's why I've double moved him. Okay. We're not going to open anything yet. Uh, sniper moves up. Uh, that would be a nice position, but it's unfortunately also incredibly prone to being outflanked. Alright. Overwatch. Overwatch, reload. Overwatch, reload. Okay, so we know the Andromedon and Dissected is over there, and we triggered it. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We gotta deal with them this turn. It's probably the right move. Don't need to move too far away. First of all, take our moves. There now. Make sure we're not accidentally triggering something else. We're also going to move over here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Good. And given the situation, let's remove all of his cover. This should also shred him. Fortunately, not completely, but still good enough. We got blue screen rounds on the sniper, so I might want to wait just a tiny bit more. Can shred with our gun. I forgot we did not have uh, leveled the soldiers, so fortunately, no shredding. But we're all already hitting so much better than uh, in the last mission with our uh, squaddies. It's incredible. 
Good. With blue screen rounds. Sniper uh, deals a lot of extra damage and Excel here theoretically should be able to finish off the Andromedon shell. Yeah, we're still tracking and taking the 50-50. Haven't fully killed it. But the only thing that the sectoid can do is a mind spin. Which of course leads to a mind controlled unit. Sure. Is some loot over here. Be very beneficial to get it. We're also looking only two more turns for the beacon. So really what we're looking for is opening the store. Trying to get a hack going as soon as possible. Confirmed. Moving up closer, I'll keep the second action for the Mimic Beacon, just in case we need it. On my Moving way. up here. Okay, so we're fine so far. moves in as well. It's another mimic beacon theoretically. We're Ready going to, to reload. Overwatch with Maria. Alright, next turn we're going to take the beacon. Station. And it even offers us some intel. I'll take it. Because uh, that might be just enough to, uh, to get us to the um, next area. We're through. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. There's something out there. There's still one more. Uh, pack. Most likely a sector pod, because very often sector pods are fielded on those missions. But to be honest, it could be anything. I didn't bother to check beforehand, which I should have. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't want to open the door. Yeah, I should have probably should have taken the loot. Um, just to get weapon modifications. Position confirmed. Alright, we're taking full cover. And we're going to have a pretty strong position over here. Moving to Everyone's position. in full cover. Understood. Moving out. Headed there now. Okay. Back on All right. 
reloading. We can use our second battle scanner very soon. That'll tell us exactly what we're dealing with. It's probably right behind the wall here. It's not a sector port, elsewise we would have heard it move. A gatekeeper. Yeah, that we're fine with that as well. Let's rock. Of course, if we could Confirmed. lure them into this room here, it'll be even easier. But given that we still have a lot of Nemic beacons left over, we should be fine. the wall. Moving to designated position. We're getting a tiny bit closer. Heading to that location. And I think the sniper does have a better line of sight over position. here. Theoretically, they should be moving in. Practically, they are not. Heading out. They're very much still standing behind the door. Strange. Order's confirmed on the move. Alright, come on. They decide to not show themselves. Which is a bit unfortunate, but I guess I can live with it. Uh, what we're going to do is we are moving in. And we're opening the door, which will trigger them. What? How is that even... Out of line of sight? Well... I guess I don't mind. You can also do it the hard way. Hello there. Uh, our sniper only has one potential target. It's unfortunately given that she has the uh, blue screen rounds. Eight protocoling ourselves. And let's try to crack the um, the Mac over here. Pull into cover. down. Still got a Mimic Beacon, so we're absolutely fine. Get it 
Good, time for the beacon. Perfect. Do we have another grenade? Shouldn't have used the explosives so lightly. 50% chance to hit this guy. Very nice. Got another mimic beacon. Unfortunately, we now need to chew through his armor because we don't have Shredder or any other means of reducing his armor. Good to go. No option for high ground either. But the option to execute. Very nice. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And besides the one soldier that took damage from the explosion. Uh, we actually did manage to beat this mission quite well. Easy. And we're coming back. Let's see if we got some more fat promotions. Nice. That's exactly what you want to see after a mission. Plus, only six days wounded. Well, I think that's a bit overdoing it. All right, so in terms of skilling, we're going to go with a classical build, long watch. Definitely. And we have another sharpshooter. Holy moly, this is going to be a very sharpshooter uh, focused team, apparently. Uh, we're going for medical protocol. We're going for shredder. Just saw why this is uh, necessary. And we're going for blade master. One more rank until sergeant which is exactly what we would need. We are going for medical protocol as well. I want to make sure that when the guy gets um, the safe game back, uh, that he will have sufficient sustain. Um, and I'm personally of the opinion that the medical spec for the specialist is just incredibly strong and helps you to mitigate errors that you are making elsewise. 110 alien alloys, a lot of valerian crystals, uh, some Alarium cores, which is great. Supplies, intel, and many, many corpses. So the first thing that we are going to do, since we just got some more supplies, is I would like to start building a spark. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Yes, please. And once that is done, I would actually like to build a Wrath suit. By the way, he did not research Hunter's Axe. Why? That's an incredibly good weapon. Why would you not uh, take that? He certainly has uh, the, the aliens enabled, elsewise the pistol still would be here. Well, that's another big mistake. You should get the Hunter's Axe and the Frostbomb, by the way, is also phenomenal. So both of those should be there. Anyways, um, whilst we are creating a spark from ground up, I would like... Okay, thanks for the alien alloys, that's good. We got 40, 74 intel, which is not enough uh, to make contact with a new region, unfortunately just shy of it, uh, but we got a lot of uh, sellable items and since Alarium is currently interest, uh, uh, interested, uh, we're going to use that to our advantage. So that's another 400. What do you presume? 
to do with these simple machines? What are we going to do with that? Our armory is slowly but surely filling up. We got a couple of bond options here. That's good. So got a nice little bond going. I don't blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tiger. But at this point, and we got another rookie available, Theodore Laurent. Can we upgrade this here? Yes, we can. Alright, Theodore begins his training. For whatever reason, Zahara here. I don't know. She seems to be stuck. So that, that seems to be some some sort of bug. Uh, essentially, he can only have one um, Psy operative trained at a time, but that is fine. As you can see, I'm trying to fire out of all cylinders just to get a bigger roster going. Uh, we're going to continue with the intel. And once we got the intel, we'll make contact with the next region. Coming through, Commander. Okay. So prior to me taking over, he failed a guerrilla ops mission. Significant, Commander. There is still room to improve. If we yeah, so that's probably the last mission that he did before, um, before fail, um, before ending. He has not killed any of the chosen. Oh, that is really bad. By now they should. It should have long be gone, but maybe he wasn't strong enough to take them on. But on the other end, he has um, plasma rifles, so really shouldn't be that much of a yeah, of an issue. Yeah, did not do enough. Um, did not do enough covert ops missions. So the twenty percent increased experience certainly helps. Uh, squad may dies. This year is really bad. Um, take the bonding. That's well, much better. I absolutely approve the lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat, that's good. The volunteer army, really good, between the eyes, probably one of the best ones. Speed of all weapon research, she doesn't need that. Black market costs reduced by 33%, I like it. That or 20% faster bond growth. Uh, now we need the intel at the moment in order to um, to go to the next area. We got 330, uh, got some alloys and some alarium, that's fine. Got 250 more here. So yeah, we're doing okay. I noticed we only have eight contacts, so it's not good. So what's happening with this resistance communications? He hasn't build that insufficient power are you kidding me okay so clearly he hasn't fully unlocked all of uh, that power relay upgraded good so who is not necessary at the moment hmm I'm okay with the defensive matrix currently being unmanned. Get us some more power, please. And let's upgrade the resistance comms. Resistance communications facility so that at least gives us one more contact. We're at nine. Hmm. I think we do not have enough abilities yet. But he has 17 general AP. 
So far the only thing that we could get is Guardian, not worth it. Uh, Death from above very much worth it, 10 points. Uh, yep, thank you. Uh, that could mean uh, that Maria here is going to be an incredible strong unit. Yeah, and I think that's it for now. Good enough as training. Okay, so we fixed the power issue. We got enough resistance contacts, which means once we get the intel, we can make contact to the next uh, region. And that'll hopefully do it. Strategic resource located. Okay, perfect. More intel, that's fine. Uh, not now, we don't need loot, we need to make sure that we're surviving. So this here would reduce our... Um, this here would reduce our avatar project by 2. This here would reduce the avatar project by 4. So that'll, that'll be our Commander, very first target. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. That's fine, Shen. Don't worry about it. Attempting to establish local regional. You just don't know when to leave well enough alone. Perfect. So we got a promotion. That's good. Uh, unfortunately, wounded, and we also got um, Commander, a breakthrough. During the latest covert action, but after a few days rest. Everyone will be ready to get back out there. We might take the elders. All right. So we still don't have a sergeant. We should try something. Not good. Um, facility lead would be wonderful. We need a sergeant for that. Recruit skirmisher would be wonderful. We need a sergeant. Uh, reduce avatar pro uh, project would be wonderful. We need a sergeant. Recruit templar. Holy moly, this is so good. But unfortunately, we have no one. Well, can we even get something? 114 supplies, really not that great. Four days is not a lot either. Axel here can do it. Engineer to negate the ambush. Yes, that's okay. Another soldier. Let's put one of our sharpshooters with him on to the mission. And that'll give him some extra hacking. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Nice. So we got Stasis, which is a kick-ass ability to start with. That's absolutely fantastic. Domination as the next ability. Um, maybe Theodore is going to be a pretty good um, teammate once he's completely developed. Perfect. We got a Spark. It's the second spark for him in the entire run. Alright, sorry, that was a call. So, we got another mission over here. And look at that. We got a kernel as a potential reward. 85 intel on top of it. Um, a Templar. That'll be awesome if we can get it. Um, just gotta extract the VIP. Got a Codex, uh, Heavy Mech, Elite Trooper, a Gatekeeper, Spectre. So most of those are Advents. Um, the Codices are not a problem. Uh, Gatekeeper and Heavy Mech might be a bit more of an issue. Let's continue making contact real quick. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Good. So. Let's go over and start this mission. Commander, we'll need 
I was honestly hoping the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. I've had a lot of time. Oh boy, we got to uh we got to hurry. Uh, I was honestly hoping that um our supply run would be done. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So, let's take a look who we would be able to take onto the mission and uh, then we're going to continue the run in our next episode. All right, managed to come up with a decent team. Uh, we got uh, one of each uh, classes, as well as a spear, sniper, and our spark. That's as good as it gets for now. But if we were to get the Colonel um, Templar, that would be awesome. That's the end of uh, uh, this mission. As always, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment down below. We're going to continue saving the Steve Disaster campaign in our next episode. Thank you a lot and have a great day. Bye bye.